Hello, this is Matt Myers, a uh, lecturer here on property at RMIT. This exercise is using the Maptitude 2012 Australia edition to complete a retail gravity model using the Huff probability um, process. It's very simple. The students, you should already have the files. You just need to add the actual shopping centers. So we'll actually go in and do that. And you should be in your file. When that file comes up, you'll see you have the six moles. Now what we need to do is, is figure out the distance from these moles to a certain type of location. It has to be an area-based. Often you can do vector files, which is just a grid, uh, but they can be time-consuming. The most efficient and quickest way is actually using the uh, Bureau of Statistics uh, Level 1, which is the smallest type of census data, which would be similar to a block group in, this, in America. And so to, you need to add that file, so add layer, go to your actual data, it's probably in your CC data file, and Australia statistical level one. And you'll see it pulls all those up. This is actually for the whole country. And so what we need to do is um, later on we'll be doing uh, selecting a certain group of these. We don't want to do the entire country. The computer will crash and take a long time. So what we need to do is a selection set and pulling it out. So think of how big your your um, models will be for your final project. And you want to make sure it's a little bigger. That way you have room for formatting and other things. So basically, just do a simple selection box. Show my areas. Now selected all those. Looks reasonable for the model areas I'm working on. So I'm going to export that. So tools, export, make sure it's selection. Make sure you add it to the map. It'll save you a lot of time. What that's doing is it's only taking that group around Melbourne. That way I don't need the entire country. So now I can go back to do the original one and delete that off. So I'm going to go ahead and drop that layer. And so now you can see it's just the ones around Melbourne. Um, I probably should have gone around this one, but um, while we're mapping, it's okay. So now I need to calculate the distance from each of these malls to each of these polygons. To do that, I actually need to separate each of those malls into a separate individual file. So to do that, I need to come into my mall file, use my selection. I'll just start here. First one, high point, tools, export, high point, selection, add layer. And I'll save that. I need to clear it and to make sure there's nothing in there. Do that for each of these malls. And obviously you can see I messed up this part. So I can go back and rename it to make it easier for me. It's there. Do that for each of the malls. Make sure it's cleared out before you do the next one.
Okay, so you should have all six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can actually turn off the old layer, and each of them are still there. So now the next step is calculating the distance from each of the polygons to each of those moles. So I just need to go into the data view. We have a bunch of extra data here that we don't need. So we're going to modify the table, delete all this stuff off. And we're going to add six fields. And these will be used to figure out the distances from each polygon to each mole. So district one or distance one would be the distance from that polygon to mole one, which is high point. Make sure your type is real. And since we're using kilometers, you can go in and add your own. Um, I've already created some on mine, so it's already there. So I got to there. Just right click on district one. Fill, go to your first mall, high point, distance to feature. That's it. Let's go through and do that for each of them. Oops. Second one is Northland. One's Chadstone. Number five is Knox. Last one is Southland. So now we've calculated the distance from each polygon to the mall. We can test this. Just do a simple color theme and you can see how that works. That's the end of the first uh, part of this thing. We'll have another video which continues on to the next probability analysis.